doing some Dixie tea here, and this is a review of Transformers and some other stuff. Um, I saw a preview, uh, special screening of the movie, um, um, uh, Monday night. Uh, <coughs> a very, um, you know, it was a very good movie. Very good movie. Uh, there are some stuff they could have taken out, and I'll get to that later. But the plot, I'm going to get to the plot right now. The plot of the movie is, um, uh, let's see. The uh, Decepticons are still on Earth, causing havoc, trying to find this, uh, talking about the Fallen. The Fallen, can't, the Fallen, the, um, geez, this, this, this old, these old machines that were there, Decepticons that were there, um, Decepticons and Autobots were there in the beginning like of, um, of humankind, basically, during the Aztecs, and they, Literally, um, um, she talked about, you know, talking about, uh, not talking about, they're just, you know, trying to find this information where they can, um, <laughs> that built this device on Earth to, to make Energon so they can, um, you know, so they can, you know, for Cybertron and everything else. Um, and, but the problem is it. <sighs> Uh, we, the Earth has human life, so they didn't want to kill no one on Earth. But one prime, there's no way he's like six primes or seven primes or whatever. One prime didn't see it that way, and he was cast out. And then, well, next thing you know, cast out in a way, and then the war, I think, started. Because there were some who wanted the Energon, who screwed the humans, and one who protected them, and the human beings, and they came and fight, and they fought, and they defeated them and the six primes hide hit this whole key thing, this key for around the world. They held the key, they hid the key, because this key, it's, they all built the thing and they hid the key so that no one else can find it in about in a million, in like a billion, like for, you know, no one to find again. And the Septicons have been looking for it for years and years and years. Then somehow, you know, the whole Transformers original movie, the cube is destroyed because that's the only place that the information has it. And then somehow Sam Witwicky somehow has a piece of the cube stuck on the shirt and then somehow gets all into his head, all most of the information about um the uh the the the, the um where the machine is and where the key is as well. Uh, and the Megatron and those guys found out, and uh, and then the ass hits the fan. You know, uh, Megatron and they find out they're gonna try to get Sam, and the Autobots, Autobots are trying to protect them, and you know, wacky hijinks ensue. You know, and uh, uh, that's it. You know, Sam well, Sam is the focal point again, but I think it's the plot is a lot better, and it feels an even flow and all this other stuff. Um, one of the problems with the movie is now getting um, very e uh, leeway. Let's see how much time I have. Oh, I have plenty of time to talk about this now. Um, I, um, you know, about the whole Transformers, the, the two robots of Mudflap and Skids. Um, designs had the, 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 those two as comic relief. Um, Of um, racism, and uh, well, I would say some people would say that I saw it, and I'm like, the guy had a gold tooth, which really, you know, it does turn you off about this. It just seems like, really, I mean, really, I'm just, <sighs> why, why have these two characters who pretty much, uh, and they pretty much dominate the screen, by the way. These two characters are mostly in the movie, Optimus Prime or. Megatron, they get their five minutes of fame. And yet these two idiots are trying to be the comic relief, which I don't think they should be in this movie. Uh, should not be here, but yet they do. It's, it's frustrating. And it's just, and they do the same time, uh, black jokes and everything else. Um...
it just seems to me, uh, and the two actors who do this is uh, Reno Wilson, who's black, most, who did my flap and Tom Kenny, and he was a guy who uh, does Spark, Spark, Square Pants. You know, I, this, I'm actually looking at an interview. They didn't think it was going to be um, 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 racist or anything else. Um, they said these guys, um, human culture, they learned it through Abin, they're the twins who want to be gangsters. You know, they're twins, and they just want to be gangsters, and all this other stuff. It's an alien who up, that's what he said. Um, Reno Wilson said that uh, when he took the wall, he was told that alien robots learned about human culture through Web and, and that the twins were want to be gangster types. It's an alien, and his quote says, It's an alien who uploaded information from the internet, put together the compilation of and for this cadence, where it's speaking the bilinguals. That was good over X amount of years of information, that's what came out. Before you, you had to say it. If you had uploaded culture music, he would have came out like that. So when it had a redneck thing, and trust me, um, it would have sounded even worse to me. Yeah, because I'm, t you know, why don't you just personally? It, it's just they're trying to cover their bases. I understand, and I'm not PC. I don't. I detest people who are political correct. Helps, and I believe that political correctness hell holds back a society. You know, but that's another video for another time. But. To, to me, this this stuff really just it just sends a wrong message. It just seems the same old uh, type of, of stereotype of 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 um, of people who said this uh, like they oh uh, no they have a gold tooth they're illiterate they can't read oh that's just great black people can't read that's that's super yeah oh yeah we can't read and everything else and then yeah and oh yeah he's a pussy that bitch and all that I'm like God shut up. I didn't. I rarely laugh. I chuckled a little something at this, because I was like, "Oh God, you know." In this PC age, you're gonna try to get away with this. This is gonna fall sinker. Then I honestly think this this thing will. Uh, uh, I I really think this will literally literally be like uh, Wolverine and be like a 94% drop. People are gonna be so pissed off, and Michael Bay is gonna have oh crap. Hell, they're gonna probably kill him off in the first movie. Hell, call, kill him off in a tie-in comic. Which, by the way, I got a comic book because of the, you know, uh, <laughs> um, screening. And I have a poster downstairs. Um, if y'all want me to review it, I would, but I'm no Link Clara. You know, um, I'm not that good. So, um, yeah, it's just that, um, though, anyway, those wannabe gangsters, it, it just... It doesn't really seem, you know, those two really, I feel like it doesn't send anyone back, but it's just, you know, it doesn't sound right and do anything right, you know? It just seems like, why do it have to be these two idiots? Why can't we just sell more of Optimus Prime or, or more Megatron or more, get more character development of these guys? So why are we here? I don't want to see these two uh, mud flap or skids or anything else. I don't like that. I never like that. It, it, it's just stupid. You know, I, I hate the I, I didn't I really did not like the characters. I thought they were just unnecessary, and, and pretty much I don't want to say this word because well, yeah, you know, they're racist. I mean, it's I'm not saying, it's it's like it's racist, but you know, not bad racist, but unknowing racist, like uh, Capcom with Resident Evil Five. You know, they're not racist. They're just well, like Yahtzee just said. You know, I'm going to paraphrase what Yahtzee um, said, if you only know um, uh, Yahtzee's guy was big ex escapist, you, you know, you probably know. But it just, I'm going to paraphrase a quote. He said, well, well, Michael Bay is not racist. He's just an idiot. And, a, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's, they're not, Michael Bay and the people Transformers are not racist, they're idiots. They don't know. They don't really, I mean, they just, they're just so... They can it. They don't know any. They just, you know, they see it once and it just sees it all. I mean, you know, it just seems like it really feels like most of them are, you know, they don't really understand black culture behind the whole, you know, soul plane or anything else, which was played out back then. But anyway, this Duke CT, um, uh, you know, I probably have only five seconds left. Oh, yeah, I got three seconds left. So, uh, peace and love. Later.